all of us at NBC News. Thank you for watching and good night. Your one new source. This is New Center One. Good evening, I'm Shad Olson. This is New Center One at 5.30. Well, success is in its very name, and that's exactly what national and local leaders are expecting and hoping for from the Every Student Succeeds Act. President Obama putting pen to paper today to sign that new education measure into law. South Dakota's entire congressional delegation has been instrumental in lending their support to that bipartisan measure, which is being called a fix for the No Child Left Behind Act. The measure includes two amendments added by Senator John Thune, which would require the Secretary of Education to coordinate with other federal agencies to report on efforts to address youth suicide and to expand the use of funding to include preventative efforts against youth suicide and other school violence. Senator Mike Brown saying that the new act gives power back to educators in South Dakota. I think educators in South Dakota will now have a lot more flexibility to develop their own curriculum that really does fit the need of needs of our students in South Dakota. I'm very pleased that members from both parties uh, in both the House and Senate literally work side by side to get this done. And I, I think there are some very meaningful reforms. I tell people I think this is probably the best uh, delivery of control back from the federal government to the states in the last 25 years. So Local education leaders are also weighing in on the impacts that that act could have here in Rapid City. Superintendent Dr. Tim Mitchell says it's past time control was given back to state and local educators. Uh, one of the things is with expanded flexibility comes greater responsibility. So the state and the local districts in South Dakota will have to really take a look at what we can do and what we really want as uh, the best education uh, for our students in the future. You know, how do we hold schools accountable? How do we hold students accountable? How do we hold schools accountable? And then, you know, what kind of assessments really give us the information that we use? Uh, make sure we kind of move back from all the assessments that we have been doing and assess less and uh, use that assessment in a way to really improve instruction. And then also have a little bit more stake in the standards. You know, we're moving away from national, you know, common core standards. So I've been intimately involved at the national level with work on this. Uh, it's been eight years. Uh, this is overdue. That measure also ends federal efforts to encourage academic standards like Common Core. The South Dakota School of Mines and Technology being given a generous gift this holiday season from the Schlumberger Oil and Gas Company. A $172 million software package has been given to that school to be used in a variety of courses. It will especially help support the new Petroleum Systems Miner Program. That company gives this software and hopes that the donation will help strengthen the school's energy resource initiative, along with providing students the most up-to-date resources for their education. This uh, will provide state-of-the-art software equipment for the students and uh, gives them critical skills and, and experience they're going to need when they get out in the industry to make them more competitive with some of the major uh, petroleum programs across the country. It makes our students uh, be just as well prepared as anyone else. The Schlumberger Company has a close partnership with the School of Mines and currently employs over 30 School of Mines graduates. Authorities are on the hunt for a state prison inmate that has been placed on escape status after walking away from a minimum security unit in Rapid City overnight. Francisco Bordier walked away from the Rapid City Community Work Center after 9 o'clock last night. Bordier is a 20-year-old Native American male. He is 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing approximately 170 pounds. Bordier is serving a five-year sentence for distribution of a controlled substance and a concurrent three-year sentence for possession of a controlled substance. Anyone who sees Bordier or knows of his whereabouts should contact law enforcement immediately. And here's a look at today's markets on Wall Street. And on this Thursday, the question becoming, would there be a positive session in this week of trade? And there you see the first one that we've had this week. The Dow Jones rising 82 points, 17,575. The Nasdaq Composite up 22, 5,045. The S&P 500 rising 5 points, 2,052. And gold is down $1 on a strengthening dollar today, $1,071 even on this day of trade.
And meteorologist Erica Horvatine joining us in for uh, Bob Reggio in this uh, 530 newscast. Yesterday, a beautiful day, a little bit cooler today, but still sunny. Beautiful day yesterday. I was yeah. actually in Colorado. I was able to go hiking in 65 degree weather. Well. Amazing for this time of year, but yeah. today we're not looking as lucky. Temperatures out there right now are a bit cooler. We're looking at temperatures in the upper 30s, and we do have some snow moving through in the northern, northwest parts of the state. So Harding and Butte County, that's what that radar is pulling up. Actually could be some more light rain while the temperatures are still in the upper 30s, but we will expect a possibility for some showers going through tonight. What we're going to be talking about in the forecast ahead is a cooling trend, which is unfortunate, but we will have a dry weekend and we'll talk about our next chances of snow moving through. All right. Thank you, Eric. And we'll get more details, including those that you just saw right there coming up in your full forecast in just a bit. We're back with more news after the break right here on News Center One at 530. This is News Center One with Chad Olson. Sports with Justin Wickersham. And weather with Chief Meteorologist Bob Riggio. Midco Internet is built for speed, so don't let old software or equipment hold you back. Go to midco.com for easy to follow internet optimization tips. It's how fast internet gets even faster. Midco gives you more. It's the perfect time to get the gift you've waited for all year. The CRV with rearview camera standard. Hurry in to the Happy Honda Day sales event and you can get a great deal on the best selling SUV in its class. Now at your Honda dealer. Crispy bacon. Canadian bacon. Pepper bacon. That's three kinds of bacon times one pizza, which equals a bazillion compliments, roughly. Bring home a large Papa Murphy's Bacon 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 Pizza, just $11. Or try it as a fresh pan for just a dollar more. Fresh made, fresh baked, fresh craving. Papa Murphy's, love at 425 degrees. Synchrony Financial. Engage with a call center team that makes customers smile. Engage with a job where great benefits are only one of the benefits. Engage with us. We're now hiring for call center positions in Rapid City. Learn more and apply at SynchronyCareers.com. That's S-Y-N-C-H-R-O-N-Y Careers.com. Or text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Again, text S-Y-F-12 to 90206. Engage with us. Dear Future, sailed through that diaper stage, learned to walk, and I'm reading like a third grader. But now it's time to go out into the world. And from what I hear, it's not all toys and games out there. Will you look out for me, future? You can ride my new bike. Remember when you needed a TV to watch TV? Now you can watch on your computer, laptop, tablet, or smartphone. TV Everywhere makes it easy, and it's included with Midco Cable. Midco gives you more. Well, this year has been a busy one for local law enforcement. That's why this Christmas, one local organization wants to let them know that the community appreciates their service all through the year. Chaplains who work between local churches and the Pennington County Sheriff's Office will put on a Christmas party for staff at the Sheriff's Office. It is time to give thanks to those who keep the community safe. The chaplains received a small grant from the Vakurovich Foundation to fund this Christmas celebration, and they're now collecting donations from businesses and families to provide door prizes there to serve and so we want to say we appreciate their service and we want them to know that uh, there's all this chatter going on on social media and on the news or around the country they need to know that there are people in this community that have their back and support them in any way they can the Pennington County Sheriff's Office chaplain program was first established to help staff members with spiritual and emotional support here in Rapid City, the Potter family holds an annual Christmas show that's become a treasure each and every year for our community. And hearing their Christmas carols are some community members' favorite holiday memories. New Center One's Monica Davis sat down with the family to see what some of their favorite Christmas memories are. 
It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Christmas is my favorite. I love the Christmas season. It's the best time of year. And the best time of year comes with some of the best memories. Um, the people help to get us in the spirit of the season, you know, remind us of why we're doing this. Um, just the people, our customers and the people that come to hear us. And their voices touch many people's lives. There was a lady that was sitting out in the audience by herself and when Orion started singing Please Come Home for Christmas, she began to get teary-eyed and, and overwhelmed and I just, I stood there and it like warmed my heart because I just was probably imagining that she probably had somebody overseas or somebody serving in the armed forces and I just, I just enjoyed watching her that, that we could bring that moment to her and that it was special and she came up to us afterwards and um, told us that she just really, her heart was touched for that. But there was a lady that came up to me, and this was a few months ago, I think, and I'd been singing and she came up and she was, had been crying and she just expressed to me that, um, that she was just very touched and um, it meant a lot to me because it's an honor, really a true honor, um, I think, to have the ability to do something that touches somebody's heart and touches their life and makes a difference. With all the performances, there has to be a favorite Christmas carol. This year it is Little Drummer Boy. And the reason that I love Little Drummer Boy is because it talks about somebody who doesn't have much to give. You know, he's poor, but yet he's going to get the best of what he had. I had to pick one that was just my favorite. I think it's probably uh, a song called Old Toy Trains. And it was one that my dad used to sing to us as a lullaby at Christmas time. About anything by Bing Crosby or Nat King Cole. <laughs> um, I love singing, you know, some of the old classics. Bing Crosby, my favorite. I love love singing Bing Crosby stuff. My favorite is O Come Emmanuel. It's like a prayer, um, Emmanuel coming to his people, and it's my all-time favorite. But of course, Clover couldn't pick a favorite song. More like favorite voices. You know, it's not so much the song that I sing, but I absolutely enjoy so much the my children, my my son and my two daughters, Orion, Natana, and Waba. Um, their harmonies just um, take me somewhere, <laughs> spiritually speaking. They they have such an anointing on uh, on their voices, and I absolutely I get lost in their harmonies. That is an incredibly talented family. We appreciate uh, what they bring to the flavor, not just during this holiday season, but throughout the rest of the year as well. Well, hang on to your hats. It's been a windy day across the Black Hills today. Erica Horvatine coming in next with your full forecast right here on News Center One. Attention ranchers, farmers, and small businesses. The Ram commercial truck season is here. Save big on trucks and vans customizable to fit your every business need. Like 2015 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Caps. Now with 0% financing for 75 months, plus 6,000 in total values. Or Ram Heavy Duty Crew Caps. Now with up to 4,000 in total values. Plus, as a small business, you can qualify for up to 1,500 of on-the-job incentives. Now's the time to help your bottom line. See your local Ram dealer today. Give your family, friends, and employees exactly what they want this holiday season, a Rapid City Downtown gift card. The gift card can be used at more than 60 participating businesses for dinner, clothes, home decor, weekend getaways, ice skating, and more. The Rapid City Downtown gift card is available for purchase at the Main Street Square ice skating rink or their office. For a list of participating businesses, visit downtownrapidcity.com. Downtown Rapid City card is issued by Sunrise Banks and A. St. Paul, Minnesota 55103. Member FDIC. I love a gourmet cheeseburger as much as anybody. And that's why we created the Pub Burger at Culver's. My favorite cheeseburger starts with great beef. When you get that burger in your hand and the juices are flowing, you want to devour it. Chef, we're going to make a pepper grinder Pub Burger. I'm stoked, man. We got a little Wisconsin Swiss and yeah. Wisconsin cheddar. Those are the criteria for me. Fresh beef, bacon, Wisconsin cheese. The four peppercorn mayo really sets this burger apart. This is an ultimate bacon cheeseburger. Our new Pepper Grinder Pub Burger. Welcome to delicious.
Get hot water fast with Richmond Water Heaters from Menards. This 150,000 BTU tankless model is available in either natural gas or LP, $599. This 50-gallon natural gas unit has a power damper, $649. Morton water softeners reduce hard water buildup and help keep your skin soft. Right now, this 34,000 grain unit is $349 after rebate. This 45,000 grain unit is $469 after rebate. Don't forget Christmas. Grab a Menards gift card. It's the perfect time to get the gift you waited for all year. The CRV with rear view camera standard. Hurry in to the Happy Honda Day sales event and you can get a great deal on the best selling SUV in its class. Now at your Honda dealer. This weather brought to you by Black Hills Power. This is New Center One. Weather with meteorologist Erica Horvati. Welcome back. Well, a mild day today here in Rapid City in the Black Hills area. Temperatures got up into the 40s and 50s. We got up to 52 in Rapid City, 49 at Ellsworth, 45 at Buffalo. But the thing is, the winds were pretty strong out there today, so it did end up feeling a bit cooler. Here are our max wind gusts across South Dakota. 31 mile per hour gusts here in Rapid City, 41 in Phillip, 40 in Pierre. Even on the east side of the state, we saw gusts up to 37 in Mitchell. So that definitely cooled off our temperatures quite a bit. But as those strong pressure gradients moved through it, they brought that wind with it. And now we're looking at calm conditions out there. Calm winds here in Rapid City and 37 degrees right now with mostly clear skies. Pretty, pretty mild night. And on our radar, we're looking at some precipitation moving through the northwest parts of the state up near Harding and Butte County. They may be seeing some light snow or light rain in their area. We do have some colder air aloft, so that is making it show plenty of snow in that area. But it, we will be seeing a possibility for some snow showers moving through tonight as those temperatures cool down. Now, our satellite and radar across the country, well, we're looking at we're on the far east side of this system that's bringing snow to Montana, Idaho, parts of Wyoming. Off to the west coast, they're looking at plenty of rain. They've just getting been getting pummeled with rain over there on that northwest coast. And off towards the Midwest, some more rain and snow over the Great Lakes. But let's figure out what's going to be happening. Here's our Futurecast satellite and radar showing all of that snow is associated with low pressure. Now, as we go through into tonight and into tomorrow, that will push that snow off. So by tomorrow, we are looking at partly cloudy conditions and no precipitation in Rapid City or South Dakota for tomorrow. But moving through from Friday and into Saturday, that's a different story. We're looking at this low pressure down in the plains, pushing snow off to this, its northwest corner. That's going to move some snow into South Dakota. And then off to the west, we are looking at them getting another strong low pressure system and even more rain, which is not good for all of the flooding that they're seeing out there. But let's take a closer look at South Dakota and how that snow will end up affecting us. Starting out tonight, we are looking at a couple chances of snow moving through. Most of the snow moving through in the northwest parts of the state staying away, but a couple chances for snow. We're keeping that very slim chances moving through tonight. Now by tomorrow, the sun will creep out. We'll see decreasing clouds throughout the day. And by Saturday, we are looking at that band of snow moving up from Nebraska. Now as it does, the models are showing that it is moving up to the northwest. So we may see that this snow that is off to south central South Dakota and off in Nebraska and Wyoming, that may end up inching its way up towards western South Dakota. So we will keep you posted on that. Temperatures tonight getting down to 30 degrees, a chance for flurries and mostly cloudy skies. By tomorrow, a cooler day than today. We're looking at 42 degrees for our high and as I said, decreasing clouds throughout the day. And it may be a little bit breezy at times. Winds from the north at 5 to 15. Gusts may be even heavier than that. And your Black Hills area forecast, we're looking at temperatures in the 40s throughout the area tomorrow with that sun creeping out all across the Black Hills. And your seven day forecast, 
Showing temperatures are decreasing as we get through the weekend and into the week. Our next chance of snow showing there on Monday and Tuesday. That's more so Monday night and into Tuesday, I should say. Those temperatures by the end of next week getting down to to 20 so cold weather ahead and don't forget to check out our click big deals you can get a $20 Boston's gift card for just $10 all right so some cooler stuff coming up but uh, plenty of ways to enjoy that in the great outdoors too yeah so Colorado huh you went hiking you went all the way down there I did you know we have hiking here too <laughs> I, I, know. Know you, I know you know this because I I know that you you've been to several of the uh, uh, different hiking hot spots around here too but I had to get down you to went see my best friend there. okay a right. long trip, but it was worth it. All right. You're, you're excused on that count, then. Okay. Thank you, Erica. Still to come, the Rapid City Stevens girls basketball team is set to tip off a brand new season this weekend. Plus, the Vikes are gearing up to face the Arizona Cardinals and their explosive offense. A preview coming up next in New Center One Sports. Wake up in your first home. Wake up in a home with a new address. Wake up in a home with no address. Your dream home evolves, and protecting it takes committed support. American Family Insurance. If the ones you love love the great outdoors, there's only one place to go this season. The Cabela's Christmas Sale. Get 40% off Herder's Camo Insulated Hunting Apparel, $90 off a Cajun Injector Glass Door Electric Smoker, and up to $80 off Vortex Diamondback Binos. Plus, don't miss Saturday 8 a.m. doorbusters, where the first 250 in line will receive a free giveaway. And if you can't find it in store, we'll ship it right to your door, free. Oh, what fun it is! The time is now! The place is here! You want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Get to Nissan's holiday event for the season's best offers. Right now, choose Rogue with 0% APR for up to 60 months or get a $289 per month lease on Murano. Shop your local Nissan store and choose Nissan.com. The Rush are back in action at the Civic Center this Friday night. It's another Freedom Friday, where all military receive buy one, get one free tickets. Then on Saturday night, get your teddies ready. It's time for the annual teddy bear toss with the Rapid City Rush. Saturday, December 12th, bring a new stuffed toy with you to the game. And after the Rush score their first goal, toss it onto the ice. Secure your seats now by calling 716-PUCK or online at rapidcityrush.com. It's true. Arby's new steak fajita flatbreads don't come on a sizzling platter. But they do come on a flatbread, which, if you think about it, is much better to eat. Arby's, we have the meat. This is New Center One Sports with Justin Wickersham. After practicing for the last two weeks, the Rapid City Stevens girls basketball team is finally ready to tip off a new season tomorrow night against the defending state champions. Graduation was a little rough on the Stevens girls basketball team. The Raiders lost four starters, including the leading scorer, Taylor Malstead, along with Cassidy Steele and Marissa Herchert, both who were taller than six foot. But Stevens returned several players with varsity experience. Caitlin King will lead the offense at point guard, while Tiana Duda is a dual threat who can score both inside Inside and outside. Yeah, those kind of senior leaderships, those kind of players, you know, you can know you can lean on them when it comes crunch time. You know, we're gonna have to find that person that you know is gonna be able to handle those end of the game situations when we need a big bucket. You know, last year is, is that was a great senior class, but we had uh, 10 to 11 different leading scorers throughout the season. So, uh, and some of these girls are still here on this team. So, I'm expecting those ones to kind of fill those shoes. And the Raiders open the season tomorrow night on the road against the defending state AA champion Sioux Falls Washington Warriors, followed by a game against Sioux Falls Lincoln on Saturday. Well, the Minnesota Vikings are 8-4, and four, but they've lost two of their last three games. This evening, they'll try, to get, they'll try to get back to their winning ways when they play one of the hottest teams in the league, the Arizona Cardinals. The Cardinals have placed themselves in first place in the NFC West by winning six games in a row. In fact, Arizona comes into the game leading the league in points scored and touchdowns. On the other hand, the Vikings are without three top defenders, and that means the Vikings have to face the NFL's top offense shorthanded. Meanwhile, Adrian Peterson, who criticized the the coaching staff following Minnesota's 38-7 loss to the Seahawks last week looks to bounce back after finishing with just eight carries for 18 yards. I don't have anything to prove, you know. I feel like I've been doing it for, for a long time. 
now and they know what I can do. So, you know, it's all about going back, watching the film, evaluating, seeing what we could have done better as offense. And, you know, you move on from there. You know, we have four ball games left and we have to, you know, make the best of each opportunity that we get to go out there and compete. Um, I think Coach Zimmer mentioned that there are only five teams in the league with a better record than us, so we still control our own destiny. We can't rely on anyone else to do our dirty work for us. So we just have to continue to just go out there, execute, and uh, you know, take control of what's ours. And finally, it was a dream shot for a Minnesota high school basketball player and his team. Check this out. During a conference title game between Northfield and Austin, a player hit a full court shot to win the game. Down by two points with 1.6 seconds left, a player on Northfield misses the second of two free throws. And that's when Austin player Omen Omen rebounded the missed free throw and threw the ball the full length of the court. To the surprise of many, the shot went in, giving his team the 56-55 to win. What a great shot there. And that's a look at sports. We'll be right back. The best diamonds at the best price are at The Ring Shop, located inside Negabowers in downtown Rapid City. The Ring Shop, it's where the Black Hills gets engaged. It's the season to save at Granite Buick GMC, your participating Rushmore Buick GMC dealer during the December holiday event. Get bonus cash, two years maintenance, and our meet or beat guarantee. Get cash back for up to 20% off the MSRP and additional discounts over $10,000 on select GMC Sierras. And get 15% off the MSRP on new Buick. Don't miss the best offer of the year. Up to 20% off your new ride at Granite Buick GMC, your participating Rushmore Buick GMC dealer. It's Fisher Furniture's Christmas sale. And for a limited time only, save up to 65% on furniture, mattresses, TVs, and appliances store-wide. And get five years interest-free financing and a free iPad Air 2 with a minimum furniture purchase. Buy your choice of special purchase lane reclining sofas with a regular value of $13.49, now only $5.99. A six-piece queen bedroom set for $9.99 and get a pillow top mattress set free. Plus, during Fisher's Christmas sale, get five years interest-free financing and a free iPad as our gift to you. And register to win a front-load washer and dryer set at all three Fisher stores in Rapid City. What makes a community great? At Black Hills Community Bank, we follow a simple process. We believe in you. We invest in local businesses by building solid relationships. We keep your money local. Plus, it takes a strong contribution by the individuals who make our home a community. We support local charities who make a difference in the lives of families in need. Black Hills Community Bank. We love investing in what counts. This Christmas, give your love the best diamond at the best price from The Ring Shop. Located inside Negabowers in downtown Rapid City, The Ring Shop, it's where the Black Hills gets engaged. Well, the community is staying very much involved with the recovery of South Dakota Highway Patrol Trooper Zachary Bader. Rapid City Schools tweeting out this picture today with the caption, Stephen Raider's students and staff raising money for Trooper Bader. So glad you're healing, end quote. Trooper Zachary Bader was left with serious injuries back in October after a routine traffic stop turned into a violent assault. That crime may have been violent and horrific, but the community through it all has shown nothing but overwhelming love and support for Bader and his entire family. And he's been very thankful for that and grateful as he continues his road to recovery. So our best to him. This is going to be an especially significant uh, Christmas and holiday season for the Bader family and one that I'm sure they'll look back on this year with a lot of uh, gratitude for the fact that he survived that incident. And there's some details about that. We're kind of working to maybe see if we can get Zach to talk to us and, and tell us more about what happened in that uh, uh, that altercation. Um, it could have ended so much worse, and there's a couple details about that I'd like to share, but I'm not going to yet. So a little bit of a taster and teaser, but uh, we're working on bringing you that story. And, and so. it doesn't surprise me when the community comes together like that. Oh, you no. know, and so many events like that, you know, they yep. always they always pull through and you know and support uh, someone yeah. like that. And so. he he uh, deserves all the commendation and the support and uh, everything that's been been given out. So fantastic well, stuff. Should we pull up our seven day forecast one last time? There it is. Temperatures cooling off through the weekend and into the week and our next chance of precipitation arriving on Monday afternoon and through Tuesday. Seasonable, but not uh, not bitterly cold. We, huh. can, we can handle that. Mm -hmm. and we bring you more details coming up right here tonight at 10.
Having problems fixing your piece of equipment? Come on in. Need some bearings or a custom hydraulic hose? Come on in. Are you in need of a part that's just not made anymore? We can machine one. Come on in. Are you in the market for a pressure washer or parts cleaner? Come on in. Need something welded or fabricated? Come on in. Some people don't really know what we do. If you are one of those people, come on in. Come on in to Adams ISC for all your industrial needs. We are located at 2090 Deadwood Avenue in Rapid City, South Dakota. Looking for a trailer? Your first thought should be Sam's Trailer Sales. And we just moved next door to 115 North Campbell Street. With over 20 years of experience, we've got what you need. From cargo trailers to dump trailers, Sam's Trailer Sales has Rapid City's largest selection of new and used trailers. Sam's also offers a full line of trailer parts and accessories and has a full service staff on hand to repair and service all your trailer needs. Sam's Trailer Sales, your total trailer connection. 115 North Campbell Street in Rapid City or online at samstrailersales.com. You hit your son's present in the last place he'll look. And you did the same with your husband's present. Of course, two can play at that game. It's not the stuff, it's the life you live with it. From gifts to holiday essentials, Shopco has great deals on everything you need to make it a Merry Christmas. Shopco, the stuff that counts. There exists an all-powerful force in the universe. It surrounds us, gives us strength, turns fear into hope. And to those who seek to harness such power, this is what you've been looking for. Now get 0% APR for 75 months. Get 0% APR financing for 75 months plus.